Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, I do worm composting experiments with different kinds of bins, different kind of bedding, and also different kind of worms. So this bin is our all natural bin, and all it is getting is things that would normally be found outside in my yard. As you can see, we've got some leaf, uh, mulch, etc. going on. And uh, with the uh, all natural bin comes critters that I'd rather were not in here. But uh, we started this with some European night crawlers. I think about 20 of them. And we are going to take a check in on them and see how they're doing. So here's one of the big ones. And here's one of the, the younger ones. So they are breeding in here. The situation is healthy enough that they want to breed. Now, I forgot to look at the video. It seems pretty dry in here, so we're going to get them some more moisture. It seems like maybe just covering it with uh, bubble wrap is, has not been enough to keep it nice and moist in here. So I think I fed maybe grape leaves last time. Looks like there was an acorn in here. But whatever it was, I fed them uh, last time we were in here, probably 25 days ago is entirely gone. Look at that big guy. Isn't he great? All right. Well, they look like they're making nice castings out of the leaves. And one of the things that I, I did want to say is that castings from, you know, leaves outside do tend to be much darker and much richer. I don't know if they're actually healthier for your plants, but they certainly do look better. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add a little bit of moisture and this bin does seem to go back and forth uh, between being too wet and too dry. So that's probably why I let it get a little bit drier, just simply because I was having trouble with it being too wet. So um, not going to go overboard giving them moisture. I'm just going to very carefully put that in there. Now this water um, is regular tap water, but I have put fish drops in there for like starting a fish bin, or you know, in a fish bin, <laughs> yeah. Um, but for basically uh, starting a fish tank. So those are some big worms, look at them. And they just got a shower. Um, so anyway, I put the fish drops on there to neutralize any of the chlorine or chloranamines that might be in my municipal water. So now that we've got the moisture up a little bit again, I don't know, I'm still feeling like it's too much or it's too dry. But I'm just doing it little bit by little bit to try and make sure that I don't go overboard on this because it is really hard to dry out worm castings once they are too wet. So this has been going on uh, for about seven months now and all of the worms seem to be doing great. They started out just with adults and here we do, we have babies so they're in here being happy. So today the feeding is going to be some burdock leaves. So I'm going to give them a bigger feeding than last time simply because it seems as though they're going through food much, much faster. Uh, for anybody who's counting, this does count as a green. So we are going to put that on one side of the bin so that uh, the worms, if it heats up, they can come over to this side and get away from it. So then I'm gonna bury that and most of the time you don't have any problems with gnats and stuff with this kind of bin simply because um, the food is not very attractive to gnats and whatnot. So now that I'm saying that, I'm going to show you that we have started to have a bit of a, a drought or a heat wave or whatever the problem is and that there are falling apples currently. So I'm going to give them a little bit of apple so that basically over time, you know, apples a super slow food. They'll probably be done with these burdock leaves pretty fast, but those apples will probably still be in here for a couple of months. So if you like this experiment, I do have a playlist where you can go back to the beginning in January of 2022 and see how that started. And I will put that over there. YouTube thinks you will like this video over here. All right, guys. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.